Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Gross and today I want to talk to you about practice how you play. So, you know, we, the famous Allen Iverson thing, we're talking about practice, you know, he's, he's making those statements. Well, listen, practice how you play, I believe so much in, okay? So let's just take an example. Let's say you're a, uh, you play 10, 20, no limit normally, and you're playing $1, $2 with your friends. Okay, listen. If you want to go to the casino, you want to go with your your parents or you want to have a, a game where it's fun, it's okay to give some action. It's okay to splash around. It's okay to have a good time. It's okay to play a bit differently or try some new things. But ultimately, you want to practice how you play. So if you're playing, you know, in a, uh, a I don't want to say a charity poker tournament, that might be a little too extreme versus playing in a, in a uh, higher stakes buy-in of the, of the variety that you play. But I think that, you know, if you're playing in, a, in something where, you're at a uh, cash game, let's say the one dollar, two dollar, and you're playing normally a lot higher. You, know, you want to play well. You want to book wins. You want to. You don't want to be trying to do too much that's different than you normally do. This is very important because, yeah, different stakes. There's going to be some different exploitive things you can do versus GTL, right? There's going to be things that you wouldn't do in a huge cash game that you would do in a, a smaller cash game. But ultimately, you want to be working on your fundamentals. You want to be in good practice. You want to be off your phone. You want to be focused. You want to be reviewing hands. You want to be watching what other players do. You want to be. You want to be. Uh, you know, playing good starting hands. Just because it's a one, uh, a one dollar, two dollar game, you're playing used to ten twenty doesn't mean you can just play five five deuce offsuit and raise under the gun and think that you're gonna you know go kamikaze and just get to, to blow people over. You got to have some good fundamentals. You have to be in the game. You have to be present. And you have to be focused because poker these days, people have gotten a lot better. There's a lot of information. People are playing their best. People are studying. People are discussing hands. People are reviewing. People are, are uh, learning ranges, opening ranges, uh, different charts, and, and playing all in all, I'd say a lot better. So again, if you want to go and have some fun and just blow off some steam and play some poker, that's cool. But remember that you want to practice how you play. And sometimes that means that you know you're gonna you're gonna be in a in a situation that you're not normally playing with. But you know, I find myself sometimes in games where I'm playing with friends or, or doing stuff that it's not like the normal game that I would play. And sometimes I'll go in and say, you know what, I'm just gonna totally have fun and just you know literally, literally let, it, let it ride. But I also want to try to be in good practice and have good habits. So I would just say, no matter what you're playing, where you're playing, play your best. You know, give it give it your all. It's okay to give a little action or have some splash. You know, splash around. But you want to be you know you want to be practicing how you plan to play when it really matters, whatever those stakes mean to you. Uh, one good tip I would give for practicing and reviewing, I think it's really important you know, to find, there's so many different, you know, Cards Chat obviously has a great replayer. You can run equities, see some different stuff. There's a ton of other, other options as well. Uh, some really cool new stuff that's going on um, that you, you can t plug in hands and get reviews. So you know, I think that uh, reviewing hands, looking at equity, seeing how the hands match up, seeing how, you know, different all-in situations, running some different uh, practice practice setups, and, and, and also not just taking a specific hand. Let's take an example. We're at a final table, and there is a situation where small blind shoves all in in the big blind, and you're in the big blind. You know, you could... You could take that exact hand, but not only is it learning from that particular hand where you look at the exact, let's say the uh, pocket eight's a, a recent one from a big final table that I had where Fedor Holt shoved uh, in the 5,200 big game phase. And I was in a big line with eights. We were five handed, huge pay jumps. And I, you know, looking at not just that eights hand, but looking, plugging it in and then seeing what other hands. Oh, what would I have done with fives? What would I have done with ace jack? Why is ace king different than eights in this spot? And for what reasons and sort of just realizing that one particular hand or example from you know a tournament or a cash game you can use to to really develop a understanding of that situation for a ton of different hands it's not just that one hand you're getting to look at how it, how it uh how the equities and how things play out in, in various other hands within that's that given spot so again practice how you play take the game seriously have fun enjoy and guys i really really do look forward to your questions on the AMA to ask me anything on Cards Chat. You guys can drop those in. I will be getting caught up on those. I really appreciate it and enjoy learning from you guys. And I hope you're learning from me. And if you have questions, you can ask me there or on Twitch or, or anywhere else. Uh, the different things I do that you guys can uh, plug in. But Cards Chat is a sure way to get my attention and I will see your questions. So thanks again. Enjoy. Have fun. Practice. Play hard. Enjoy. We'll see you soon.